Asparaginase is an essential drug for, for the treatment of ALL. It's extensively used in children, uh, but it's less used or less extensively used in adults, but it's now been increasingly used. And uh, the, the, uh, there are many types of, of asparaginase, uh, one derived from E. coli native and another uh, that has been an evolution of this of this asparaginase because it's conjugated uh, for, uh, with um, polyethylene glycol in order to have a half-life and, uh, and, and hopefully uh, high activity and less uh, immunogenicity. So uh, in adults uh, both types of asparaginase are, are used uh, but uh, each trial choose one type of asparaginase. But in a Spanish PETEMA trial, uh, trial you, we, uh, some centers use it one type and some centers use it another type of asparaginase. And uh, this led us uh, the opportunity to compare these two types of asparaginase uh, in, in terms of effectivity and in terms of safety. And we have shown that both types of asparaginase are equally effective just for immediate response and long-term response, and uh, the, the safety profile was uh, slightly different. For example, uh, native coli uh, was associated with uh, a higher frequency of allergic reactions, uh, and uh, pegylated asparaginase was, uh, was associated to more uh, liver uh, toxicity. So, these two kinds are equally effective, but the toxicity patterns was uh, slightly different. That's the message of our trial.